Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barnon11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out my video. Now, for years, I've been trying to teach people that the United States is a corporation. And there were people that, honestly, and I can totally understand why, didn't believe it, think it was crazy, didn't think it was a big deal, and always said things like, oh, you have no proof, you're just saying things. Well, I'm going to show you the proof on an actual government document. So if you type in the following, you're going to type in title, and I'm doing it so this way you could see, title 28, and see it already comes up, USC 3002. Now, I'm not going to just go to anyone. Here is a government website. Let's click on that. So we're, we're going straight from the government. So you're going to go to section 15, and we're going to go to... to subset a so let's go down to 15 14 it's on the right hand side so you see right here subset 15 and in quotes united states means a a federal corporation there's also b an agency department commission board or other entity of the united states and c an instrumentally of the United States. Uh, I'm sorry, an instrumentality of the United States. I was going to say that didn't make sense. So they're telling you that this is no longer a country. The original United States that was founded because of our forefathers fighting in the American Revolution, that was the Union States of America. They took separate sovereign states that were supposed to be like different countries in Europe. They ended up combining them together. And then after World War II, I'm sorry, World War II, after Civil War, I don't like to edit my videos, so this way it keeps it real. After the Civil War, and they lost all of that property and all the damage, and they could not pay back the loans that they borrowed for all the equipment they needed. Well, the Rothschilds, the Bank of London came along and said, we'll give you all the money that you need. Just give us 10 square miles of property. And it ends up being the District of Columbia, which they then created a new country, which is owned by the British crown. They created a corporation called the United States, ripped up the original constitution, created a new one, and then took the people. Because remember, if you look at it, it the constitution, the Declaration of Independence, it starts out by we the people. It doesn't say we the citizens. So they, they created in the um, either 14th or 15th Amendment the word, the legal definition of the word citizen, which is what every politician calls you. They don't say attention people. They say attention citizens because there is a difference legally speaking. So when you're a citizen, that means you're part of that corporation located in the, the 10 square mile, uh, mile radius of the Washington, uh, D.C. That's the United States, which is a federal corporation. That's why there is no king that rules here. Presidents run corporations. So I'm going to keep this video very short because I want people to share this. I want people to understand what is going on. And I hate to break it to people outside of the United States because a lot of people will say, oh, look at the Americans. They stink. They're, they're this. They're that. Well, all countries are corporations. Check into it and you will find this yourself. And this is what's called hidden in plain sight. I mean, if you didn't know this existed, how will you ever find it? And with, with how many different documents there are, it's almost virtually impossible. But the beautiful thing about the internet is eventually somebody finds something, it gets posted, and now everybody can see it. So if you care, then please share this. Point this out. It doesn't even have to be my video. Just copy and paste this particular part, part 15 of the U.S. Code. That's what the USC stands for, U.S. Code. So this is not somebody making this up. This is an actual government code, and it states it. But how hard would that be to find? Just to find that one particular page, that one particular subset, to find that. But like I say, I've said in the past, they have to tell you what they're doing. But they don't have to tell you directly. That's why they do things in acts and in codes. Sound familiar about law? And that's why they take you to court. 
Well, you know, you play games in a court. And that's why when I talk about you being a fictional character, when you don't claim your DNA, you're actually considered dead at sea. You become a corpse. You become the walking dead. That's why if you see it in the words, you wake up in the what? In the morning. Well, where else can you be mourning? How about a funeral? When you rise up in the morning, what do you do? You awake. Well, where else can you go to awake? Now, when you go, when they invite you to court, what do they give you? They issue you a summons. Well, can't you also summon the dead? Think about it. I know it sounds crazy. That's how you keep the truth from ever being revealed, as you make it so crazy that no one will ever take it seriously. And look how long it's worked. Some people will sit there and say, okay, so the country's a corporation. What's the big deal? Well, because you're under the British crown, you're not part of what your forefathers died for. This is not a country, and you're being used as collateral. That's why we're all going broke, and they're becoming more and more wealthy. So it is a big deal, and it's getting worse, not better. Think about that. So if you don't act on this, the people deserve everything they get if they decide to not pass this on, if they do not do anything, if they just sit there and roll their eyes and say, okay, they're a corporation, big deal. That's why you're being taxed. That's why you have to pay for all these things. They create a trust account in your name because you don't claim your DNA when you're born. They don't give you full disclosure about it. Your parents sign a document basically giving your rights away. And because no one tells you about it, you don't claim what you abandon, which is proof of who you are, which is your DNA. They create a, 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 um, a legalized fictional corporation with your name under it. So they create a business. If your name is John Smith, when you're born, they extract blood from the bottom of your feet, which is your soul. They're taking your DNA, which is the only thing that can legitimately prove who you are. And then don't tell you about it. Don't tell your parents about it. Your parents sign over your rights and create not a certificate of live birth, but a birth certificate which has to do with the birth certificate when ships used to dock and bring in um, products from overseas, but it was B-E-A-R-T-H. So I'm repeating myself in a couple of videos because I want people to get this. And what they do is, since you don't come back and claim who you are, which is your DNA and your blood, you're considered, it's considered abandoned. And they take it over. And what they do is they create a trust and they create a business. So if your name is John Smith and you don't claim who you are by the age of 18, John Smith is reported legally as dead, lost at sea, because this is admiralty law we're dealing with. And what they do is, Mr. John Smith, they create a business trust name called the John Smith, which is a registered trademark name. They incorporate you, not you, the human being, the live human being. You didn't prove who you are, so how do they know who you are? You could be anybody. You're not proving who you are. Your blood, your your DNA strand proves who you are. But what do they make you do? They make you sign things. That's why there's sin in sign. Think about it. So here's the proof. It is Title 28, USC Code 3002, Section 15. Subset A, B, and C, A being the most important one. If people don't get it by now, I mean, just think about it. What politician has ever talked about this? Look at the presidential debates. Anyone talking about this? You know why? They get paid lots of money and they don't get murdered to look the other way. They're selling out the citizens because you're collateral. Like in the Matrix, instead of being a battery, you're a piggy bank. Everything in your life has already been prepaid for, and they make tons of profit off of all of the interest that you never go and claim because you don't know it exists. So your mortgage, which is all the way, by the way, if you look up mortgage, it's Latin for death pledge. Your bills, your electric bills, credit card bills, everything has already been prepaid for. You have, when you're born, they create a trust account, which goes anywhere from a couple of million to a couple of billion dollars, depending on you know what breed of family you come from. 
and it accumulates interest because just think of it as somebody leaving a billion dollars in a bank account, in a savings account that no one touches for decades. Just imagine how much interest that accrues. So every time you pay a credit card bill, every time you get a bank loan, every time you borrow money, every time you pay a tax or pay a uh, traffic fee or a court fee or anything like that, you're adding to that account. So the people that invested the million to a billion dollars are making 10 to 20 times that amount by the time you're dead or in prison because they can cash in your, your bond if you go to prison. Why do you think there's so many laws that help get you there? So I don't know what else can be said at this point. The proof is right there for you to see. People should be getting angry and they should be active about this. It's the time to be passive has got to stop. Otherwise, your children's freedom, you think your freedoms are bad? Wait until your children grow up. So the ones that sit there and say, oh, it's no big deal. I can live with this. What are you going to do to your children, your grandchildren? You think it's going to get better? Or do you think it's going to be closer to what the Hunger Games and other movies are trying to show you? Here's your future. Keep doing nothing. Keep sitting around and you know paying attention to the unimportant things. Keep being distracted. Let Nero fiddle as Rome burns. So as usual, I say I'm going to keep it short, but I guess for me, under half hour is a uh, definite accomplishment. So I hope people will share this. I hope people will talk about this. I hope people will post things like this on their social networks. And I hope people will start screaming out on the top of their lungs, no more. Get yourself a constitution. Get yourself a Black's Law Dictionary. Learn. Or don't complain. So that's it. Because remember, the Constitution only works when the majority of people consent to it. It has to do with the consent of the people. Consent also means if you're not arguing it. So this is going to stay alive as long as people just accept it. Say, like, oh, well, you know, I'm okay. I don't want to rock the boat or I'm living all right. You think it's going to stay that way when they keep borrowing more and more money? They can only do it for so long before it collapses. And do you think the people that have been stealing your money for generations are not going to be well prepared in advance for what's going to ultimately happen? You think they're going to give a damn about you and your children starving out in the streets? They get some good slave labor there because if you're about to die of starvation, and they say, oh, yeah, come work for us. We'll give you 10 cents on the dollar. We'll even give you a free room and board. and We'll even feed you. We'll give you a nice little closet to live in. We'll give you some nice genetically modified food. And when you get sick from it, we'll be so happy to provide you some nice medicines that will never cure you, but it'll treat you at a cost. Come on in. People will be lining up to get in, fighting and killing each other for it because it beats starving to death. Is that dramatic? Sure. But like they say, truth is stranger than fiction. So you have the proof before you. If people just sit here and watch it and then go to the next video or skip it or thumb it down or whatever, just pay no attention. Well, then, like I've said in other videos, you are helping to create the destiny that they say is going to ultimately happen. It's by not being active. Here I am trying to take my time to share this information. And you guys got to do something about it. It's we the people. If you like being a citizen, if you like being taken care of by being handed a few extra scraps, and some get more scraps than others, just remember, if you have kids or grandkids, I don't think their future is going to be that much better. Because look at between what happened after World War II and in the 50s when everybody was doing well and there was plenty of mom and pop stores in this country and we were creating our own products. Remember, made in America? Well, you know those U.S. flags that you wave at all these slave owners? the uh, politicians, go look at it. It says most likely either made in Taiwan or made in China, or maybe even made in Hong Kong, but it definitely doesn't say made in the United States, or at least not as much. Think about that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.